Um, so we've come to the point where we're just about to close. This is the closing part. We get to relax. Everything's done. Everything's completed. Um, what I'm going to do here is just read out the winners of the Capture the Flag test uh, in reverse order. Philip Sieber, who is not here, um, none of the guys have been coming up, by the way, um, came third with a 400 euro prize. TJ Boyle brought local from Belfast, came second with a, a 600 euro prize. And Thomas Roth came first with a 1,000 euro prize. So congratulations to them. Just FYI, TJ, he came second. He was winning until he went to the bathroom, and then he got overtaken. So that's a lesson for him. So we're just going to do, this is the great bit. This is the bit where you just say thanks to people who made this whole thing possible. The, the, uh, the duck's feet paddling under the water of the calmness that was uh, the rest of the conference. Um, everybody had a good time? Yeah. Cool. Apart from dinner last night, which took a bit longer, everything went smoothly enough, which is great. Um, what we're going to do is encourage you, as we had from Shannon at the very start and the beginning of this journey on Thursday morning, to give us feedback. The hashtags are still going, of course. Hashtag AppSecEU, hashtag OWASP. Give us your feedback. Tell us what was good. Tell us what was bad. And we can make sure we do it better in the future. Make sure we uh, get your feedback. So please... Follow Shannon's advice and help us with that for the future. <laughs> okay, bit of delay, is it? Okay. So this, I said, this is a bit we can just get to thank everybody. So first of all, what we're going to do is thank our speakers. And we had over 60 speakers talking at this event, including people doing the capture of the flag, including people helping out with the early days. So thank you very much to them. Without them, this would just be a lot of people in a room looking at a screen. So we want to thank them. Really appreciate it for them to give up their time, share their expertise, and take us all forward with the knowledge that they have in the industry. So thank you very much to the speakers. So to some of the organizing committee... Uh, this is Michelle Simpson. You've probably seen her around. She was the co-chair of the conference. The bags, the t-shirts, the badges, the um, logos, a lot of things she's been involved with has helped to keep us on track, make sure we do things right. Thank you very much, Michelle. Thank you. <laughs> Owen Pendlebury from the Dublin... Oh, so I should have mentioned, oh, look, Michelle is from the Belfast uh, chapter. Owen from the Dublin area has helped out as well. He had the training that was very successful and great in the early uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday of this week. Owen helped them bring that across, as well as helping organize much of the conference. Thank you very much, Owen. <laughs> Owen's a very professional guy, works very hard, and also knows how to enjoy himself. <laughs> so as Martin, again, we'd all be sitting looking at the screens if it wasn't for the talks. Martin was chair of the talks, Martin helped choose what intelligence, what uh, information you got to have here. We had a record number of submissions this year for AppSec EU, and he was part of the team that narrowed that down into the expertise that you've had. So thank you very much to Martin. <clears throat> Mark Miller, who helped us with the DevSecOps track. Mark uh, helps with the promotion as well. Essentially, Mark is a marketing genius. I'm copying everything he does from now on because he just knows how to do it properly. Uh, Mark's already gone on, but we'll have to thank Mark anyway. <laughs> Fiona Collins from the Cork Group in Ireland. This is really a whole Irish uh, island um, um, endeavor. Fiona helped with the, uh, the volunteers. Again, as I said, that, the duck feet paddling underneath, all those sort of things that kept everything running. Uh, Fiona helped Michelle with that there. So we thank Fiona as well. <laughs> the OWAS staff will be absolutely nowhere without them. 
Uh, Claudia, who did the project teams. Matt, who's going to speak in a few seconds and did the IT. Laura, who is our goddess at managing everything. She manages the group. She, has, she does this year in, year out with OWASP and uh, knows how to run a conference. We thank her very much. Kelly with the memberships. Kate, the operations director, Hugo, who designed all our great um, logos. We didn't realize when we were doing this here that the hexagon was a, no, a, a Belfast tourist thing and just happened to be the same uh, thing we came up with, so we thank him for that. Alison with the accountant, Tiffany, our blue head guard, goddess, where Tiffany? She back? Oh, hey, Tiffany. Tiffany, who's our uh, community manager. David and Elrond, who did the website for us, great. And Siobhan, who's the local team manager. Thank you very much to the team. The waterfront team here have been amazing. Uh, I had a great picture of Phil, who's our liaison, kind of posing on a table. It actually is as bad as it sounds. Unfortunately, it didn't capture my phone. But we want to thank the waterfront team who have been helping with us with the AV, with the sound, and with the logistics. So thank you very much for the waterfront. <laughs> thank you to our sponsors. Without them, we'll be eating nothing, and we'll be uh, having to pay a lot more. So we thank them. And... A personal thing for mine, everybody, any fathers or mothers in the audience know, uh, sometimes you're on the road, this is my son's birthday and I'm a really bad daddy because I'm here and not celebrating. So even mostly for the camera, this is to say sorry to Sean, I'll give you a big hug whenever I see you later on. So, no point in giving a clap there, I suppose. <laughs> and lastly, I love this picture. Thanks to you, again, without you guys who are going to be here attending this here, it would just be a lot of people talking on screens. This helps. These types of conferences are great. They help bring the community together. The networking that we can do at these events is great. Also, the ability to share the knowledge and increase the industry. As we've had a couple of talks, we, we have, we've, as an industry, we've got things to do. We're not winning the battle. There's lots of things we have to do better, automated, faster, quicker, and more intelligent. And it's by sharing the knowledge and getting together at events like this that we can achieve that. So thank you to you for all coming here. Thank you very much. Good night, Matt. Shout again. Number one. Number one. We're good. Hey, look at I got a mic. Woohoo! So I'm here on behalf of the OWASP uh, Foundation. I am one of the six full-time employees. We also have two part-time employees, and so it's just a happy little band of us. Gary, I should thank him. He and his team are fantastic. I should also thank him for stealing most of the people on my thank you list. So I'm not going to repeat them, but I am going to say that the OWASP Foundation is really yes, it is six full-time people, two part-time people, but it's really you. Like, OWASP cannot happen, we cannot make a dent in the world without the participation of people like you who come in and share your knowledge and your passion and uh, give us your thoughts and um, feelings and express how important this field is to me and you and all of us. And I think that's really what makes us a stronger group and is going to make us eventually put a really ding in this giant problem we have of insecure apps. Years ago, I did a keynote at the last con conference there was a pic, at a, a, I loved your, your kid's pic, by the way. There was a pi picture of my two kids. We were having beers out on the back porch. I live in Texas. That's kind of what you do. And then we had buckets of ice with beer in it. And both of my kids were standing in separate buckets of ice to see who could make it the longest. I had that picture up on screen um, because that's why I do this. Because I want my kids to inherit a world that is where their software is safe and their data doesn't get stolen. And we can do that if we band together and share our knowledge. So just thank you to everybody on behalf of the OWASP Foundation. We're a small little happy band of people that are trying to change the world and we could not do it without you. So thank you very much. <laughs> One more thing before I hand over the mic. Uh, we have the next, I'm gonna give you a couple little things that are happening at OWASP just so you know, put them in your planner. Um, coming up next in June is the London Summit. Following that in September is AppSec USA. We're also planning four different global trainings, uh, primarily this fall, where we're going to bring 500 people that are either new to the industry or developers and, and give them a little bit of leveling up on security. We're doing a whole bunch of major changes at OWASP. Keep an eye on our Twitter and blog, but I, I really would like the next AppSec uh, uh, 
conference team to come up and give a little talk? Are they here? Yes, we got them. Well, where are they? Let's bring them up. I can do, I can say, I can, I can spoil the mood, but where'd they go? Okay, hey, 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 come on up, come on up, please, please, please. I didn't see you, my apologies. You mic'd? Oh, he's mic'd. I'm off. Thank you very much again on behalf of the OWASP Foundation. You guys are awesome. So, hi everybody, my name is Or, I'm an OWASP board member in the Israeli chapter, and today we are announcing our next uh, OWASP uh, or APSEC Europe conference in Israel, in Tel Aviv. Uh, the conference will be between the 17th and 21 on June 2018. Uh, you can see here the link of the website, it's still under construction, but more detail to come. So I want to share with you... Oops. Okay, so I want to share you, with you some of the thing about Israeli tech scene. So fifth of the all global cybersecurity investment is being invested in companies in Israel, in startups, in grown-up companies, and in international companies in Israel. There are direct flights from all over Europe to Israel. Um, in order to get into Israel, you don't need a visa. Uh, once you have a passport, when you whether you come from Europe, UK, or US, uh, Israel is a huge nexus of security research. We had a lot of companies that were built in Israel, international companies such as Checkpoint, Imperva, Checkmars, that are uh, one of the sponsors for this conference. Um, and we have a perfect beach weather, and I will talk about it more. So when you try to describe Tel Aviv, which is the city that will host the conference, there are three things that you can say about Tel Aviv. First of all, see, we have a great, great beach shore. It's free for everybody, it's access for everybody. And we have sun, and we have a great weather that I hope you will enjoy. And the third part is that we have fun. We're doing a lot of fun. We have a lot of pubs, a lot of restaurants, a lot of nightclubs, so I have no doubt that we will have a lot of fun in the conference. Now, some fact about the venue that is going to uh, host the, the conference. The venue is David Intercontinental Hotel. It's a five-star hotel with an excellent uh, facilities such as swimming pools, such as dining room, a lot of great facilities. Uh, the space in the, conf in the venue is for 1,000 people, and we anticipate that uh, we will be full. Um, for the planning of the conference social event, so Basically, these are the plans, and we are, haven't closed it yet, but some of the plans are saying that we are going to do a pre-conference reception, and it's going to be on a beach across the street of the hotel. The hotel is located in the center of Tel Aviv, and it's two minutes' walk from beach. Uh, we are planning to do a conference dinner. A uh, few options there. One of the options is the street market. Another option is to do it on a waterfront on one of the restaurants in Tel Aviv. So we're going to have fun. We also going to have the option, you will have the option to do all kinds of tours in Israel on the weekend. It's an optional, it's your choice. Um, all kinds of places that you can visit, just in Jerusalem, Bethlehem, Dead Sea, uh, Templar tunnels, stuff that are, well, all kinds of tourist things that are located in uh, Tel Aviv. Few facts about our chapter, our Israeli chapter. So we have... Uh, um, been uh, active for more than 10 years now. We are very vibrant, we are very communicative. We have a few projects that we are running, some of them related to translation of OS projects, or uh, sorry, OS documents. Um, we are doing few meetings during the year, and we are doing one big uh, conference in Israel, an AppSec Israel, that is being done between September and October each year. This year, we had over 650 attendees in the conference. Um, so, as I mentioned, I hope to see you soon. The conference, uh, the training is between 17 and 19. The conference is between 20 and 21st. Well, see you next year in Tel Aviv, guys.
So have a great uh, and safe trip back home, and see you next year. Bye-bye. <laughs>